Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square and welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how you can turn a gallery image description into two lines of text using just a little bit of custom CSS. Now, as always, the codes I'm about to share are listed in the description below, but there are some key parts of this code that you're going to want to change, so I'm going to go ahead and share my screen to teach you exactly how to set this up and how to make it uniquely yours. Let's get started. So here we are inside Squarespace, and I do want to mention that this tutorial is specific for version 7.1, the latest version, because we're working with gallery sections. Now, if we hop into edit mode here and select the add section option, underneath the images pre-made layouts on the left-hand side here, we'll see images, there we go. You'll see this little eye icon on the site preview. This means it's an automatic layout section, in this case, a gallery section, and that's what we've added to our site here. Now, when you select edit gallery, here you can upload your pictures, you can drag and drop them into any order you want them to be, and you can also give them a description. Here in this description, we can have a first line, and then I'll hit shift enter on my keyboard and I can type second line and we'll go ahead and close this gallery and take a look. They're all on the same line. That's what we're going to fix with custom CSS. Now I'll select exit and we're going to navigate to website and then scroll down to website tools. Our first option here is custom CSS. And again, this code is in the description below. Now let's scroll down a little bit here so we can see these two lines of text. And I'll go ahead and paste the first part of our code right here. This says take a gallery grid item, and when you see that caption content, white space pre, make sure it pays attention to that soft return where we held shift and enter on our keyboard to create two lines. Now we've got two lines of text. While this is awesome, we can get even more creative. Using custom CSS, we can add another line of code that changes just the first line of text. This will change the font size to 1.5 REM and the font weight to bold. Now we can change anything we want about this. Maybe we even want to say text transform uppercase. And just the first line will have uppercase characters no matter what we've typed. So again, this first part right here is what separates it into two lines. And this part right here is what allows us to change the first line of text to something really unique. Again, we can get really creative here. You can even change the color if you want to. You have all kinds of options here, so I want you to get really creative. Whatever you've decided to customize, select Save when you're done and you'll be good to go. You'll find the codes that we just used listed in the description below, along with some related resources to help you make your Squarespace website even more awesome. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, give me a like and let me know in the comments and definitely subscribe to my channel because I post a brand new Squarespace tutorial every single week and I want to make sure you catch the latest. Thanks again for watching and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. Find everything you need to make your Squarespace website uniquely yours at InsideTheSquare.co. That's InsideTheSquare.co.